Coming up on Metro 5 this week, Committee of Friends celebrate the former governor of Lagos State, Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu, at 66. Also on the show, the chairman of the United Bank for Africa, UBA, Mr. Tony Onyamechi Elumelu, marks his 55th birthday by empowering more young African men and women through the Tony Elumelu Foundation. And the United States Consulate in Lagos celebrates with other groups to host fun lovers to the premiere of the movie series titled In Love and Ashes. Woman, you call me a beggar when you're a thief. You stole my wife! Well, it's the last edition of Metro yes, in the month is. of March. Uh, the year is already running again. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about it, though. I feel good about it somehow because it should remind you that whatever you have to do, do fast. Because very soon it will be December. Yeah, it's weird that we're already in the month of April. Yeah. Let's build the first to wish our Christian viewers happy Easter celebration. And we're being grateful to God for his faithfulness yes, as we, we look forward to a more prosperous Amen. month of April, which we are all so, so ready for. Anyway, warm welcome to the show. And thank you so much for having us all right so metro file this is where you get all the fun and the train never stops yeah. wherever you are thank you very much for joining us on the program today we we'll always like to remind you if you are a sensitive viewer please watch out for flash photography and for all of you who send in your messages we see them thank you so much i'm ann wawadu and i'm okay so welcome to the show and we are hitting it off right away celebrating the jagaban of bogu ashwaju of lagos and the former governor of lagos state Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who recently clocked 66. Yes, some friends came together to celebrate this icon at a reception for his contribution to the country, especially on the political scene. How Bola Tinubu has remained like a strong force in the political scene, which, amongst other things, has earned him a lot of respect. In the political scene of Nigeria, one name that cannot be ignored is the former governor of Lagos State and the national leader of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Chief Bola Hamed Tinubu. Chief Bola Tinubu is no doubt a political icon who has over the years built a reputation for himself which has earned him lots of respect nationally. He recently clocked to 66 and some committee of friends decided to put together a little celebration in his honor. Inside the hall is a gathering of both the old and the young who believe in the ideals on which Chief Bola Tinubu has lived by over the years. And that forms the basis for celebrating him on this special day. Although he is not present at the occasion, but he is ably represented by his wife, Senator Oluremi Tinubu, who joined some of the prominent people here to celebrate her husband. Born on the 29th of March, 1952, Chief Bola Tinubu's political career has seen him occupy some key positions. He was elected senator for the Lagos West constituency 
1993, which was prior to the military takeover in December 1993. After the return to democracy, he was elected governor of Lagos State, holding office from May 29, 1999 to 29th of May 2007. He is no doubt an influential political figure who also holds prominent traditional titles and some of which are the Ashuaju of Lagos and the Jagaban or Bogu Kingdom in Niger State. Ashuaju that we have all come to honor is himself a man of honor. He gives honor, he receives honor, he acts with honor, drinks with honor. Our own Ashuaju is an almost Democrat, a convinced Federalist, a political strategist for excellence, a leader of leaders, and a visionary. What a leader truly should be. You can have competence. Indeed, when you think of leaders, you think, okay, I want a leader that has competence. And I sure you have a particular knack for picking people with competence. So don't continue to at the time as a governor, was not concerned about AD or APC or PDP or wherever you come from. He was concerned about the democratic institutions that were in place. A leader who could absorb, there is no idea that is highfalutin to him or that is outrageous or ridiculous to him. He would listen and then engage you. And that's the hallmark of a successful leader. that we say he has not benefited from his kindness, cheerful giving, and his passion for the people of this country. You possess true political and leadership flight, your muscular movement, second to none. You moved from Lagos to Abuja, and you're moving to Africa and to the world. Ashiwaju of the universe. Lagos celebrates you. Nigeria celebrates you. The world celebrates the forerunner. All hail Jagaban Bogu. Lagos, Nigeria. Senator Oluremi Tinubu is indeed overwhelmed by the show of love towards her husband. Uh, thank you for even believing in a vision that is not even in history books. This is more like telling a folk tale, especially to young people. We've seen rough times and good times, and I believe that the good times would, uh, be, would outlive the bad ones. Amen. So we'll all live long in good health. And on behalf of Ashiwa uh, our family, the children, grandchildren, I want to say thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, she goes ahead to cut the cake on behalf of her husband. The hard work pays. Whatever you are doing, people are watching, you know, and time will tell. But you see, for time, for him to be alive and people celebrating him in such a manner, I can only say, glory be to God. Sixty-six years and still counting for Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu, he continues to enjoy tremendous goodwill from a lot of people. Here's wishing him a happy birthday. Oh yeah, 
All right, we join everyone out there to celebrate him and we say a big congratulations. Yes, to say happy 66th birthday yeah. to you.